Hi, today I want to show you how you can access PLC data from a web browser. So I'm using TA Portal together with the 71500 CPU. Uh, I will show you how you can program this. So first of all, I want to show you how uh, which parameters we have and you would like to transfer to our browser. I have defined some parameters, uh, boolean, some integer, uh, so we would like to, to read these data and the uh, browser and then we have a data block here and in the data block as well we have some data where we alarm actually so we would like to see it in the browser so uh, first of all we have to go to device configuration and we have to configure the PLC if you double click on the CPU in the socket like network socket uh, down here we have to define our IP address. I have defined it earlier 192.168.0.110. You double clicking on the CPU and then down here. So if you go to web server in general, uh, you have general, so you activate web server and this module should be activated and then you have um, automatic update. So it's like update interval like how many times you would like to have it updated like in a second so it's like it would be updated uh, this um, page actually the uh, browser would be updated once of, uh, every 10 seconds and have you have user management it's very important to have a username password to protect your CPU from outsiders uh, and this username is case sensitive and then we go to advance, need the advance uh, as a default we have 333 for data block number we have two data block uh, which is used for this um, or now we go to advance and here in advance you have two data block for web server so their system data block so remember this thing uh, 333 you can change it actually if you want otherwise uh, we just use these default values so just remember 333 and later we'll use it in our program so now we're ready and then we can go to main and then start program we have to uh, program a little bit to send our, our data to uh, a web browser on the right side under communication you can find the web server and on the web server you have www block so you drag and drop it here for the control data block you assign a 333 the value actually we have seen in the device configuration and here you have written value just assign something it doesn't matter uh, this will show you uh, your error code if you have an error in communication so that is all we need to do so far now we go and uh, try to design our web page actually so I've designed a page already this is normal HTML code so uh, first of all we try to focus on our reading data and show you how you read data actually and then later I will show you how you write data from from a web browser to your CPU so now here we have our web page so it's HTML code uh, it's not normal HTML code you have a style head and uh, body so it's a very simple HTML code it's not a big deal the main part is the part you access the data from the CPU uh, if you look at the CPU tag table we have fan we have shot uh, then we have button so to read these parameters you just need to write them as you can see here so you just write the tag name with double quotation and here for sure this is the binary this is an integer value and this button is an integer value as well so you just semicolon equal to double quotation and the tag that's all you need to do each other but when it comes to read from data block then you have to read like this so this is the text 
this is this it has nothing to do so the only thing is this one this part actually you have to write in this way so it would be column equal to and the data block and then you have the name in the data block the the, the tag in the data block so if you go to if you have data block the name of the data block is data block one anyway so and you have you want to read egg so you write you know like this db1 dot egg and then when it comes to text a string so you have to write like db1 it is the name of the data block and then it's the tag name so that's all so the, for for the string you don't use some uh, double quotation actually so that's the only thing to read the data so when you write this html code you just save it under name name we have index.html so it can be uh, anything you want so it's no big deal and we go back to the device configuration so you double click on the cpu again so you double click on the cpu and you go to web server and the user defined pages so here as you can see and here as you can see you have to uh, give the html directory you have your html page in and then with browser so i have the, uh, the browser in web page so okay and then you have to give the default HTML page so the page you want to actually be open uh, as a default so we have index.html is the page that we have written the code in. and then click on generate blocks so the CPU will generate these 333 and 334 blocks based on your programming in the index.html so if you go to web browser and web server you see 333 and 334 blocks are generated so now we save the project we do a compile finish so now uh, it's all ready to check our web page see if we can access our data so we first of all we try to open a watch table so we have some watch tables here so we go online so we sign a value for egg as say we take 10 for shut like meat is in Swedish it's 20 and then for fun is like fan yeah hmm. so we have true and then we have button water like 30 and then data 2 like 14 and we had the alarm as well so db1 that alarm uh, can we do that like this yeah we say Stockholm something like this yeah we activate it so we have these values and we try and our we check in our web browser to see if you have the same value so we open our web browser so we open Mozilla we have here So the IP address of the CPU was 192, 116, 0, 110, and then evp.index.html. Sorry, slash index .html. This is the way you write your address actually. So enter. So you get this page. So you have to log in. And this is the, the login was admin. The password was one two three four five six. As we defined, just uh, consider that you have case sensitive, so it, you can't log in with a small a. So you should be admin. It's the same way you defined all that. So we log in. Yeah, you 
have to write again AVP so now so this is the page we have designed actually the as you can see here we have flat flat the status this is the fan uh, status this is the binary value we read this one that's right and this is 20 so if we try to have both pages at the same time yes as you can see here we have shot 20 and we have 20 we have sum up of attend 20 so we have 30 here as well so we have egg 10 and we have egg 10 as well and lamp text is the alarm we have a stock yes that's all for reading part yes so we have uh, the writing part as well the, we have two button to uh, to turn on and off the fan so see turn on and you have it on here so how can we do that actually for reading part you just need to do this right uh, as you can see this but for writing to the PLC is a little bit different you have to define some uh, like code you have to define the imp the value you want to write to the CPU as you can see here so AVP invariable name and this is this should be the value you want to write in so it's like colon and double quotation fan is the binary value I want to write and this is output one and this is data two so you should define as you can see here and then uh, this is the code I, I wrote uh, to turn on the fan actually uh, so as you can see here we have we have submit so when we press flex till fan on then we send value one actually to the fan and when we press flex phone it's like uh, fan off then we send zero to the to this fan like variable which is defined up here actually yes and we had another Yes, we have bar where there's like set point in English. So we would like to have this one as well. So if we change like 500 set, we go to our program. As you see, it's 500. Uh, so in here you can have this part. It's a post method. So you have data block, data two, text set. Yeah, this is just HTML code actually. So it's a big deal. Uh, as you can see, it's very easy to write and read from PLC using a, a web browser. I mean, the main idea of having this web server is not to substitute this kind of application, be a scale of system or HMI, but it's very useful to be able to read some values, last 10 alarms or something like this, and your say computer at home or maybe your ipad or iphone so that was all for today thank you for listening